Good evening. My name is Colonel James Ramsey. I am the Congressional District Coordinator and Admissions Field Force Officer for Michigan's Congressional District 5 for the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, and graduate of the class of 1985. I would like to thank the school's administration for allowing me to be part of this ceremony. Before the actual presentation, I would like to take a little of your time to tell you about my alma mater and the achievements this young man has made. Founded in 1802 as America's first school of engineering, West Point is a four-year co-educational federal undergraduate college located 50 miles north of New York City. The mission of West Point is to educate, train, and inspire the Corps cadets so that each graduate is a commissioned leader of character, committed to the values of duty, honor, country, and prepared for a career of professional excellence and service to the nation as an officer in the United States Army. Each year, about 16,000 young men and women apply for admission to West Point. About 1,200 are accepted. The admissions process, which usually starts during their junior year, is unique and requires each candidate to apply for and receive a nomination, most commonly from their representative or senator of the U.S. Congress. Complete a thorough medical exam and successfully pass a physical fitness evaluation in addition to the usual submission of transcripts, college board, recommendations, and essays. Screening is thorough with a focus on well-rounded individuals who have demonstrated leadership potential and a willingness to accept responsibility as well as possess outstanding academic credentials. Those who are accepted will spend the next four years at a beautiful, historic, and demanding place that is unquestionably the world's premier leader development institution. In addition to leadership, West Point's academic program is recognized for excellence ranking among the best colleges and university in the nation. U.S. News and World Reports ranks West Point as the number one public liberal arts college. It is the number four best undergraduate engineering program, while Forbes ranks it as the number two public college in the country. It offers over 40 academic majors in both sciences and humanities and has produced more Rhodes Scholars than any other college or university in the country except Harvard, Yale, and Princeton. It has also produced more yet Hearst Fellowships, the scientific equivalent of the Rhodes, than all other schools except for MIT, Stanford, and Princeton. Along with top leadership in academic development, West Point cadets also undergo rigorous mandatory physical education and military science and more ethical training to develop those attributes necessary to become a commissioned leader of character as an active duty army officer serving our soldiers, our army, and our nation. I would like you to meet one of your neighbors who is stepping up to accept the challenges of the West Point mission and has earned a four-year academic scholarship which includes room, board, medical, dental, classes, books, uniforms, a computer, and a monthly stipend. You heard right, he will be paid while he is there. All this and training is valued at over $225,000. With all the additional training opportunities available, like spending a semester abroad, its value grows to over $400,000 during his four years at the academy. 
culminating with earning a bachelor's of science degree. Before I ask him to join me, I would like to acknowledge his support system because he could not have accomplished this on his own. Would the parents of Mark Miller please stand to be recognized for the outstanding job they have done in guiding this young man's life. Thank you. Now, will Mark please join me? This young man is a great example of the young Americans West Point seek to lead our soldiers and the Army. They are well-rounded and at the top of their peer group in three areas, academics, leadership, and athletics. Mark has demonstrated a high level of achievement in these areas. After graduation from West Point, he would not have to apply or interview for a job. He will become a member of one of the noblest professions in the world, an active duty officer in the U.S. Army. As an officer, he will be entrusted with the responsibility of leading your sons and daughters around the world. In these trying times, it is important that we all realize the magnitude of that responsibility. And Mark has proven to date that he has what it takes to succeed at West Point and in our Army. I am confident that Mark will do a great job at West Point. I know his family, friends, and community are very proud of him. Without any further delay, on behalf of the President of the United States and the Superintendent of the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York, it gives me great pleasure to present Mark LaRon Miller II with this certificate of appointment to the West Point class of 2024. Congratulations and welcome to the Long Gray Line. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Ramsey, for this awesome opportunity to grow as a leader and serve my country with honor with duty and with courage. This is a dream come true for me. It comes behind a lot of hard work and with the unwavering support of my wonderful parents, Mark and Rebecca Miller. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Also, to all of my family and to all of my friends, to all my great teachers, coaches, and the entire staff here at Grand Blank High. You have all had a phenomenal impact on me and on my success. I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you. Lastly, but certainly not least, I want to especially thank my church family, Grace Emanuel Baptist Church, for all of their prayers and for their never-ending support throughout my entire life. I will graduate from West Point Academy. In fact, I am already looking forward to sending each of you one of my college graduation announcements. Trust me, I will get it done. Thanks again and see you all soon. Go Army, beat Navy. <laughs>